Hey, this is Bill with Sonic Ninja. Today we're going to be checking out Audio Realism's ABL3 in conjunction with Extra Records LFO Tool and Grey Wolf's newly released MIDI effects version of Blue Arp. I figured with the release of Blue Arp it would be fun to play with Audio Realism's ABL3 and get some nice in-key acid bass lines going. So the first thing I'll do is load up ABL3. Let's turn the volume up. It'll sound like this. Now, because we're going to use an external arpeggiator, we need to switch to note mode. Let's turn up the cutoff and resonance a little bit, just to hear the difference. Okay, now let's add our arpeggiator. And turn the steps down to 8 for the demo. And create a pattern that looks something like that. Getting there pretty quick. Let's drop the gate down to 60. Okay, let's get some modulation going for the cutoff and resonance. We'll do cutoff first. LFO tool. Let's get a sine wave. Set our output to 28. MIDI learn. Now let's do another one for resonance. Set this one to 29. Oop, some output. That should take care of MIDI Learn. Now with both of them running, we've got cutoff and resonance being modulated by a LFO tool. Let's turn the base value up. I'm going to drop the rate on resonance and increase the offset a bit. That results in a sound like this. So there you have it, a quick and dirty acid bass line using ABL3 in conjunction with Extra Records LFO Tool and Grey Wolf's fantastic MIDI effects version of Blue Arp. Please let me know if you have any questions or feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.